Jeremy Lin was there two years ago. Who will be the future star of tomorrow? The PIT tipped off today and a lot of local guys showing off their skills this weekend in hopes of getting those NBA scouts attention. Hi everyone and welcome to the Sports Wrap tonight. I'm Ali Lucia. Bruce is off tonight. He got his moment in one shining moment. Now tonight, Norfolk State's Kylo Quinn is trying to make sure his 15 minutes of fame lasts a little bit longer, maybe all the way to the NBA. And here he is, Kylo Quinn, with a nice ovation before his team's game. Kyle playing for a team sponsored by the Portsmouth Sports Club. O'Quinn wasted little time getting on the score sheet. He gets in front of the pack and throws down the two-handed slam. Then he's going to show off some of his passing skills. This nice feed to Kevin Murphy from Tennessee Tech. Murphy finishes with the slam. Two of his 27. More O'Quinn, this time off the miss. Hauls down one of his 12 rebounds and finishes with another big dunk. 18 points, 12 rebounds, and four blocks for O'Quinn as he helps lead his team to a 12-point win. Impressive game for the MIAC Player of the Year. And it was a, it was a game I know I had to come in focus and play my hardest. I mean, this is big for my school, not only for myself, but this is big. I mean, uh, playing in the PIT, select few only playing this. This is, a, this is a privilege, and I'm glad I could join it. I'm going to ride the wheels to fall off. I mean, it's continuing. I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting, this is a blessing. Just keep going and keep going. I mean, I don't want it to stop. In addition to the dozens of scouts on hand tonight, NSU head coach Anthony Evans was there too, showing support to Kyle and his hoop dreams. Evans was the only coach in the nation to offer Kyle a scholarship, and he couldn't be more proud. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, my assistant went out and saw him, and uh, you know, we saw he thought he had some potential. So being the one that gave him the scholarship, really happy about that. You know, he's worked hard over his past four years. He had a great year. Really happy for him. He's gonna play in the NBA, no question about it. Now his season hardly ended like Kyle O'Quinn's Old Dominion's Kent Bazemore also at the PIT tonight playing in the late game. Bays looking for a little redemption after being arrested just before his last college game. In the first half, Bazemore doing what we've seen him do all season. The big dunk that brought the crowd to its feet. Bazemore trying to prove to the scouts that he has what it takes to play at the next level. He had nine points, and Sports Wrap's Brian Parsons will have more from the PIT, and he'll talk to Bazemore about being back on the court tomorrow night. Also playing in the late game, Norfolk. Keith Wright, he played his high school ball at Norfolk Collegiate and went on to star at Harvard. No insanity. Wright with a solid game. He scores here on the jump shot. Nine points for Wright. We'll visit with Wright tomorrow, too, on the sports wrap. And one local player in the PIT, Hampton's Ricardo Ratcliffe, the Kingston High School product who played his college ball at Missouri, will be playing tomorrow night at 7. Should be a